Hi, my name is Airwave. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, this is uh, some kind of reply video to Rishabh Rajan, who is uh, a good educator at Mac Pro Video and who's making YouTube videos himself regarding uh, Logic Pro, my favorite sequencer. I've been using Logic for um, 20 years now, thanks to Mike Bush, my old, very old friend. And um, I got to learn all the uh, the tips and tricks. So, um, Rishab a month ago published uh, an interesting video regarding uh, MIDI effects on audio tracks into Logic Pro, giving a whole explanation about um, the use of environments and uh, stuff like that. And I found it really interesting because there is a much simpler way, and I, <laughs> I couldn't, I couldn't hold it, and I had to tell him there is there is much simpler, as you can see here, without the environment. And he was like, "Hey, please do share," and I promised him uh, some kind of reply or whenever ready. So um, here it is. And um, it's so damn simple that it's gonna blow your mind and you're gonna wonder why <laughs> you, you didn't think about it before. So uh, let's take an audio track here for, uh, as an example. It's just, just a, a stock Apple loop so we can, uh, so you can hear something. <laughs> correctly suggested in the, in the video, uh, you cannot put MIDI effects on this one. So uh, he gave this whole explanation on the, on the environment and everything, you know, you don't need to do that now. With the, the new routing system into Logic Pro, uh, I think from time point three and onwards, but I'm not sure, I, well, update to the latest version anyway, because the 1041 is just mind blowing. Um, you just take an instrument, well, First of all, you unselect the output. You put it. You put this audio track to no output. You just keep in mind. Well, you just take note of the channel and everything. It just take an instrument. There is a side chain trick that you can use, but the problem is that first you need the signal to be stereo. And secondly, without any instrument here, uh, nothing will get through the sidechain. So um, you will hear n no result in signal. So it's going to be a bit, a bit difficult. So the only option I have is to find something that's stereo and that's really common and that doesn't use any CPU and does a test oscillator into logic. So I use this one in stereo mode then. <laughs> of course, we don't need the signal. So I put it to min minus 96 dB, obviously. I can even dim it, but I, I'm not getting into details here. It's not a point of this video. Um, but yeah, what are we gonna use to input this signal? Well, that seems obvious. We just need something that um, listens to the signal and there is only the compressor for that purpose. You can use the noise gate uh, for the same purpose, but it only inputs a mono signal, just for you to keep in mind. And you cannot use the auto filter or the fat effects for, for this purpose because there is no listen button. And this is what we're gonna use here. So we select the side chain, which is the, the Audio 7, two-step percussion 01. Uh, well, here in this, because, uh, let's call it strings. My, my bad, I should <laughs> label my stuff correctly. So strings, Audio 7, now it's correct. So uh, you see that everything here is down to zero, zero threshold, zero ratio, well, 101, and no makeup signal, nothing, okay? Um, I just need to push this button here, listen, and now listen to it. It's magical. So um, here I'm on the instrument, of course.
What does that mean? Well, now I have the option, for example, to use something such as uh, what can we use for that? Let's say uh, a pitch shifter, for example. Oh, it's going to be funny. Um, and uh, timing vocals, but we don't care. And uh, let's say I want to use a MIDI effects here. Um, let's say modulator. And uh, we're going to just learn the plugin parameter. And I want the semitones to be, and you see here, it's already working. So uh, let's play that. Of course, you get a scale effect because of the plugin here. And um, um, yeah, it seems obvious. So it doesn't work uh, really well with all the plugins. But what does it mean here? It also means that you, instead of a modulator, you can use the modifier. Let's say you want to use the mod wheel and reassign it to, for example, well, the semitones in this. Look at this now. We're going to put the scale to 100%. So I'm going to play. And I'm going to use my mod wheel. So you see, as simple as that. So you put, you set your audio track to no output, you create an instrument um, with a test oscillator. As a second plug, well, as a first effect plugin, you choose a compressor with those settings, sidechain coming with the, with the incoming signal from your audio track. You put, uh, you uh, enable this button, the listen button in the sidechain tab here, uh, put everything else to zero. And uh, then you select your plugin and your MIDI effects, and you're good to go. This is as simple as that. And you can also record, for example, here with a modifier, you can also record uh, the stuff here with uh, your uh, logic. As simple as that. You can even loop that, as you can see here. See? Funny. Well, that's it for today. I hope that Rishab will be happy with this uh, video reply and uh, wish you a very nice day.